everybody, I'm Joel Green and welcome to Curiosity Quest, the show that continues to explore your curiosities. Well today, our quest letter is quite special because it came to us from Nikki Evans, who happens to be here. Nikki, what was your quest letter again? How to train dolphins. Yeah? And so, where are we today? In Florida. And the Florida Keys in Key Largo, and so what are we going to do? We're going to train dolphins at Dolphins Plus. <laughs> so are you ready to begin today's Curiosity Quest? Yep. Let's go. Nikki and I are so excited to be here at Dolphins Plus. We first met up with our dolphin trainer, Megan. Are you, are you excited about your day with the dolphins? Mm -hmm. That's cool, we're happy to have you. So Megan, what's, what are we gonna be doing today? Uh, we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. We're gonna get in the water right away. After your briefing and meet a couple dolphins close up, you're gonna get to pet them and get in the water with them and give them kisses and all that cool stuff. <laughs> uh, and then later you're gonna, you're gonna get to meet a sea lion, Miss Wono, our sea lion. You're going to um, get to see the touch tank, which is all sorts of little invertebrates and ocean critters in there. Uh, so you're gonna get to do all sorts of fun stuff with all the dolphins and sea lions and everything else today. So, I'm very excited to have So, Nikki, does that sound okay? Mm -hmm. Is that okay, okay for Quest? Yeah. Is that okay? No, so, what are you looking forward to the most? Um, training them. Training them. So, Megan, are you our trainer? I am your trainer, yeah. I'm oh. gonna be, she's going to be my trainer for the day. We're going to work together all day. <laughs> can I can I join you guys? Well, yeah, you, I guess you can hang out. Yeah, oh, I guess, <laughs> guess I can hang out. I don't want me to be yes, third wheel here, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, so definitely. What do we need to do first? Um, first thing we're going to do is before anyone gets in the water with these guys, we're going to have you listen to a briefing. I'm going to take you downstairs and you're going to get to hear a briefing that you get to learn about dolphin anatomy, about our dolphins that live here, and about everything you're going to be doing in the water today with these guys. Okay. So I'm going to take you guys downstairs and you guys are going to um, be in the briefing with Laura, another trainer we have. While I'm making my, the buckets for the dolphins and getting all fishy and smelly, like you're going to be by the end of the day. Um, <laughs> fishy and smelly? Does that sound all right? <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> She's like, well, <laughs> What can we do, huh? <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll give you getting ready behind the scenes and you get the briefing and then I'll meet you back for a swim. All right. Okay. So where do we go? Sound good. Follow me. We can go right down this right. way. Let's go. Off to the briefing we go. Now Laura's teaching us all about the dolphin anatomy. I don't know a whole lot, but Nikki sure does. We also found out that the dolphin's home, where we'll be swimming, is a natural water system. You might have heard of it. It's known as the Atlantic Ocean. How does a dolphin smell? Like the sea? Nasty, right? A little bit nasty. <laughs> By using their blowholes, blowholes like at the top? I don't know, I guess in their nose or their tongue. They might use their tongue to smell or if they have a nose to smell. How do you use your tongue to smell? <laughs> like ocean water? It's mouth. Can dolphins smell? No, they don't have a sense of smell. They don't have a nose. All right, um, so actually these guys are named wrong. All right, they're not, they're named bottlenose dolphins. And the reason they got their name is because this structure right here looks like a bottle, but the nose part of it is wrong. They thought that just because it jutted off the front of their face, it must be their nose because that's what ours is called. This is their mouth, rostrum, or beak. All right, they don't have a nose because they don't really have need a sense of smell. All right, because they live in the water and they only come out to breathe every once in a while, okay? So I don't know if any of you tried to smell the water lately, but it doesn't really work. So. How can they know when their food's ready if they can't smell? They have 20-20 vision above and below the water. Um, and so we feed them at the same time every single day. So whether you guys were here or not, we would go down at 9.30 and feed the dolphins. <laughs> All right, and they know they're on a schedule. Just like you know about noon, you start getting hungry, even though there's no clock around, you're like, I'm a little hungry. And then you look and you find a clock and it's like 12.15. You're like, aha, that's why I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. Um, so they're on such a schedule that they know time and they see us walking around with our buckets and they're like, ah, I'm eating. Um, stuff like that, so that's how they know. 